Okay, welcome to a new episode of Nate's MMA Corner. I'm Nate, and if you're watching my show, you're in my corner. Today's episode's a doubleheader, um, and a post-fight of, uh, Felder versus Hooker, and then a pre-fight, um, Benavides versus Figueredo, um, for the UFC flyweight title, so I'll just do a quick rundown of the post-fight, so let's get started. So, um, we had a lightweight clash with Dan Hooker and Paul Felder, and Dan Hooker won um, the majority of the rounds, and he ended up winning a split decision uh, over Paul Felder, and for the time being, Paul Felder has stepped away from the sport. After the fight, he announced he was stepping away from the sport. I think this is, um, you know, if that's what makes him happy and he feels comfortable doing that, then by all means do it. But, um, you know, I think Paul Felder still had some fight left in him um, past this Dan Hooker fight. But um, to each their own. Uh, Dan Hooker uh, killing it right now, looking amazing. Um, you know, Dan Hooker, I mean, like, if he were to fight Khabib, I don't know how, how well he would do, but that's not the point. The point is he's, you know, he's marching his way towards a title shot before you know it. Um, did this get him a title shot? I don't know about that, but maybe another win or two and uh, a title shot. He's definitely up there, though. Then in the uh, light heavyweight division, we have um, Jimmy Crute defeated uh, Mikhail Oleksia Chuk. <laughs> I think I said that right. Um, anyways, Jimmy Crook, uh, submission Kimura, round one. Uh, Jimmy Crute looked great in this fight. Then in the women's strawweight division, we have Yan Zanon versus Karolina Kolvakiewicz. Uh, yeah, you know, um, Yan won unanimous decision, and Carolina, um, she's been on a bit of a downturn. There was a point of her career where we really thought that she was going to be um, someone to reckon with in the women's strawweight division and be probably like the another Ioana U- Jacek, but um, yeah, she's suffering um, four losses in her her last four fights and then on top of it she um she's two and six in her last eight fights in the ufc so um yeah i i i just it wouldn't surprise me if the ufc cut her sometime soon um which is kind of shocking uh, you know uh in this stage of her career i thought she she would have done more but um yeah, Yan looked great. I mean, she, she won every round decisively. Uh, then in the heavyweight division, we had uh, Marcos Rogerio de Lima defeat Ben Sassoli. TKO punches round one. Um, figure this would happen. Marcos is just the more experienced fighter, uh, as far as I'm concerned, in that MMA, in that UFC cage. Um, and it showed. Then in the lightweight division, we had Brad Rydell versus uh, Magomed Musta. Fayev and um, Brad Rydell winning split decision. Uh, somewhat shocking. Uh, I thought Magomed was going to win this fight due to his wrestling, uh, Sambo wrestling. But um, yeah, not the biggest um, controversial decision, I would say. It was a close fight and Brad Rydell won. Um, but um, yeah, I've, there's there's been bigger controversies. Anyways, um, on to... Uh, this week's card, we have um, in a catchweight bout, uh, Joseph Benavides versus uh, Dave, uh, Divezon uh, Figueredo. And, um, you know, um, Divezon, um, he did not make weight, so if he wins the fight, he will not get the title. Only Joseph Benavides wins, he gets the title. So, this is for um, a vacant UFC flyweight title. And if Devezon wins, we may not have a UFC flyweight champ and may have to do another um, vacant title fight, which is crazy. Um, with that said, um, you know, I've kind of gone back and forth on who I think, um, you know, uh, wins, you know, wins this fight. And um, yeah, it's it's um it's a tough one um but um you know i guess um i 
I guess I'm, you know what, I guess I'll go with Joseph on this one. I think he gets it done today. Um, I, I think he's prime for this title shot. And, um, you know, I just think that, um, you know, the Sergio Pettis loss, uh, the split decision loss was a controversy. He did not lose that fight. Um, and, um, you know, I, I think, you know, he definitely got robbed on that card. And when you take that away, um, you know, Demetrius Johnson was the last guy to beat him. And that was Demetrius Johnson in his prime in the UFC, uh, just, you know, ripping it up. And um, and then he fought to his split decision before that in his first fight against uh, DJ. And then so when you go back to his real true loss, um, gee, I mean, Dominic Cruz, WEC, you know, I mean... Not that, you know, these other losses weren't real losses, but, yeah, I mean, the guy guy lost to Dominic Cruz a couple times, and he's lost to, um, you know, uh, DJ in his prime, and then Sergio uh, Pettis fight. So, you know, I think Joseph Benavides has enough tools to get the job done, and I think he uh, squeaks out, um, I guess, I'll say a decision win here. I think he plays it safe and outpoints Dives on here. Uh, en route to a decision victory and the UFC flyweight title. Then in the women's featherweight division, we have Felicia Spencer versus Zara Farron Dos Santos. I'm going to go with Felicia Spencer on here. I think that the cyborg fight was a little bit um, too much for her, but I think uh, other than that, um, you know, she, you know, she plowed right through uh, Megan Anderson, and I think. Um, you know, uh, yeah, she, she's just overall talented, just, um, so I think she could beat most anyone else, and including Sarah. Then, um, in the light heavyweight division, we have Ian Kutalabra versus Magomed Ankalaev, and, um, I'm gonna go with Magomed on here, I think the Sambo wrestling gets it done, and, um, you know, his only loss, was um, to Paul Craig, which he got submitted with one second left, and he was winning that fight. So I think uh, Magomed gets it done here and um, wins um, wins a decision due to takedowns. Then in the women's, also in the women's featherweight division, we have Megan Anderson versus Norma Dumont uh, Viana, and I'm going to go with Megan Anderson on here. I think she's found her rhythm in the UFC, um, and I think. Um, that uh, she um, she can get it done, and uh, I think she will get it done um, against Norma. I think uh, th this will be a good learning experience for Norma, though. Then in a catchweight belt, we have Grant Dawson versus Derek Miner, uh, at 149.5 uh, catchweight. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Derek Miner on here. I think um, he's just the more rounded fighter, and I think he gets it done by decision. So there you have it. There's my predictions for this card, and stay tuned for my um, for my um, um, <laughs> um, post fight of this card. And until then, see ya.